Hi, I'm Nan. I'm a Fire and Life Safety Education Specialist with the City of Mesa Fire and Medical Department, and we're here today to talk about infant CPR. Um, infant CPR is a little bit different than the, what we teach for adult CPR. Adult CPR, we typically just um, push the hands only. Uh, however, with infants, we're going to include rescue breaths along with our chest compressions. Um, this is effective in any time a child's unresponsive, whether drowning or choking. Uh, what we're going to want to do first is make sure the child is unresponsive, so we're going to tap the foot or touch the shoulder in any way that we can't see if we can't get the child to respond. If the child does not respond, make sure they're on a flat, firm surface, and then get a little closer to check for breathing. And You'll be able to see either a small rise in the chest or you'll be able to hear them breathing. If you hear a gurgling or a gasping sound, that's not regular breathing and you're going to want to continue with CPR. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with chest compressions. We're going to press hard and fast. We're going to try to get 100 beats per minute. We're going to start with 30 chest compressions. We're going to put about two fingers in the middle of the chest, uh, just below the nipple line on the breastbone, and we're going to press hard and fast 30 times, letting the chest respond completely before going on to the next push. And then we're going to go on to two rescue breaths. You're going to tip the child's chin back a little bit with your hand. You don't need to go back far. Put your hand on their head just to make sure that you've got them controlled and their airway path is open. Cover the child's nose and mouth with your mouth and give two slight breaths, remembering that a child's lungs are much smaller than ours, so it really wouldn't take much to get them to have a full cat breath of air. So cover the mouth, light breaths, look for the, the slight rise in chest, second breath, look for another rise, and then go back to the 30 chest compressions. You're going to want to follow the chest compression rescue breath for at least two minutes before notifying the firefighters and paramedics, and, or unless you have somebody there with you that can notify them up front. Um, thank you very much for watching today. Please visit our Facebook page and give us any comments you might have on today's video. And again, if you have any questions, please give us a call here at uh, Mesa Fire and Medical. Thank you.